welcome to my channel. Two things. Number one, notice anything different about my nose. <laughs> yep, yeah, today I got a nose pierce and that's why I don't have much makeup on because I was aware of the fact that my eyes would be running once they like stabbed it so it was an automatic reaction. So I just hadn't got much makeup on. I got some really dodgy eyebrows as well. Um, number two is that I know I promised you guys I would do the Kill Star Skirt DIY first as the poll said but I'm having back issues right now so I have made some chain bait belt DIYs that was the second most common and um, popular one so I do hope you enjoy that and I'm sorry for the beard intro quality I'm filming this is kind of dark out this video has to be out tomorrow so I hope you enjoy let's get into it shall we so guys this is basically everything you are going to need for this project so things here are used for different things you don't necessarily need all of these but I would recommend some main things um you definitely need some chain i have five meters of chain here because it was the cheapest thing to buy and it's quite lightweight it's like a jewelry bag chain and i ended up getting this off aliexpress the only place i can find it cheap enough you also are definitely going to need some of these i'm not sure what the correct term for them is are they split rings or key ring rings they're basically just the key rings that you get um, when you get a key ring and you can buy these separately. I've always at a place called Tiger and I've got five for a pound. You're also going to need what looks like lobster claw clips on steroids. I used these in a previous DIY and I got three of these for a pound. You might also want a pair of pliers, some jump rings, some details. I have some bird skulls and some pentagrams here if you so feel that way. And I also forgot to film that you might need a pair of scissors or a pair of wire cutters. If you don't have any wire cutters, use scissors. I don't have any, even though I make jewellery. So I'm using my scissors, so let's get into this, shall we? So for the first DIY, I'm going to be making a waist hip chain. So I'm going to start out by taking the end of my chain and measuring it from a rough point on my body to another rough point, and I'll get the camera up to you. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the chain and I'm positioning it roughly on my waist like here and I'm draping it round until I have a nice length and it can sit on my hips like that and my chain is quite long and rather than cutting the end I want to keep this one whole piece so I'm going to take my split ring I'm going to mark that point and then that point is marked like so and then again I'm going to so it has like two layers and then I'm going to get another jump ring and mark this end be warned if you have nice nails, like opening up these jump rings will probably ruin those lovely nails. I literally just painted mine really sloppily because I was aware that my nails are going to be in a video. Um, and I just removed the nail polish and it looked really dodgy. So, And I want to add one more layer to my chain. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again. One last time, I'm going to make it a little bit shorter, so it kind of drapes like that. And I'm going to mark it off at that point. And instead of putting the jump ring, I'm going to cut it off first. And it should just cut through like that. And then I attach the last end to the jump ring. So guys, I'm going to show you in detail how to hook your loop on. So you can just split the ring like so. And because the chain has holes, you can just push it on through and rotate it around. And then adjust, adjust any bits you think need adjusting. Like this one here isn't quite the how I'd like it. So I'm going to just fix that up a little bit. And then you could leave it just here with these two loops and, um, and attach it to belt loops like that but I wanted to add clips to mine because I think it would be easier to take on and off as an on and off accessory. So you're going to need two clips for that. I just want to attach them the same way as you did with the chain, opening up the split and attaching it on. And because I was having a little bit of an issue with the chain bit here, I decided to just cut them all off rather than having loops and it made it a lot more smoother. Once both clips are attached, that is it your final product and let's see how it went. I've been really into these hip chain belt things recently and I really want to make one that has some decoration to it. I saw a really cute one that had crosses on it of different types but I don't have many crosses that are big enough so I'm going to go with bird skulls and pentacles. So I'm going to do the exact same process as before but only doing a mid length one rather than several different layers. So now I have one long piece of chain with the two clips either end. I'm going to want to start attaching 
the skulls. So not all my bird skulls are the same. I have some that I have some that are more like flowery, and then I have some more plain ones. These ones are a little bit smaller, and this is quite a long chain. So I'm going to position them at stages along the chain and see how I like it. That's a rough layout. I'm going to put the bigger skulls in and see how I feel about them. Not too keen on the bigger skulls. Maybe the pentacles. I think that looks better, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to make it more precise. There are five skull heads. I'm going to do this mathematically. And I'm going to fold the chain in half. So this direct half point loop here will be the exact centre of the chain. Taking my jump loops and the pliers, I'm going to attach the middle bird skull to that point. Now I have the centre point attached, I'm going to count around 10 chain loops in or so and I'm going to add the ones at the end and then I think I'll work out the rest of it from there. So exactly 10 chain loops in, I'm going to add the next bird skull. You always want to make sure that all your chains are facing the same way when you put them on, so I'm going to straighten it out. Okay, so this bird skull is facing towards the camera. So now I've attached the two midpoints. The fastest way to find the centre of this is to match each one up in half. And that means this loop here is the point where the next bird skull should go. And you're going to want to repeat the same step to attach the midpoint to the other side. So now I've finished adding all the bird skulls, I'm going to repeat the same process of folding it in half to find the midpoint to attach the pentacles. And then it'll be done and I'll come back to show you the finished product. different kind of waist chain. I'm going to take this chain and I want to make a kind of dangly droopy one and it's probably easier to show you from the front what I'm going to do. So what I want to do is kind of make a chain that, chain belt that kind of droops down a little bit, probably to about just above my knee. So I've wrapped one end around my waist and I'm going to just cut the chain right at this loop which is where it ends on my knee. So now I've got the chain length I'm going to put you back over here. So now that I've got my chain length cut I'm going to want to make some loops and I'm going to again use my uh, findings. So just taking one end I'm just going to put the loop on there simple. I'm just going to attach the loop like so. Then taking the other end I'm going to put it through the chain. Now this creates the part that is going to be our waist. And taking a heavy charm this key pendant is pretty heavy I'm going to attach it to the end of my chain and my chain does actually split apart so I'm just going to split it split it apart a little bit like so and attach the key and it's as simple as that that is your chain belt done from me and I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. Again, apologies for not having the sewing video out. That will be out soon. But for now, I hope you can deal with what I have to offer. So as I say, start with like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more DIYs, goth stuff uh, in the future. So bye.